think I'm streaming. Let me check real quick. Holy shit, my room is hella cold. Patching the offline franchise save file. It's been patched to the latest version. Yeah, I haven't played this thing in a, like a month. Oh shit! I forgot that thing is not muted. All right, well, I shouldn't say muted, but. Let me edit this, where is Jack's franchise, save it to that, this is perfect, what up YouTube, it's your boy Sal and I'm back at it with Jack's franchise, and um, yeah, I haven't played Jack's, I haven't done Jack's franchise in over a month, so it's been the long awaited return of Jack's franchise. Um, <clears throat> my plan for this stream is to practically play to, to stream for like two hours. Um, so it'll be like 10 o'clock, a little past 10. Then I'll just hang out with my friend for a little bit before I leave for a Christmas party. Um, so with that being said, um, I really don't got much time to waste. Even though I say that, um, even though I say that, I want to check out, um, even though I say I really don't got time to waste, um, yeah, I'm still going to be checking what's happening, what happened before the game, not before the game, it, what happened last game. Um, we threw for only 106 yards. Oh, but we were hella accurate. I say hella accurate, but we were 60%, and that was because we only threw the ball five times. <laughs> Dak Prescott did have 320 yards and three touchdowns, but that boy threw five picks. It's, it's really love the Travis Etienne show out here. Um, yeah, 35 carries for 329 yards and five rushing touchdowns. <laughs> oh my god, I'm hella stuffed right now. My nose, my god. We had picks for Andres, let's go Nick Cross, Nick Bolton, and then Tyson Campbell had to. <laughs> Oh my god, hella congested. Um, I might as well just save it right now. Yeah, don't mind the Seahawks one that you see right there. I was just doing a Seahawks thing for fun. So, yeah, it's not like I started a whole franchise or something. I, I forgot to put rebuild in it, but it is what it is. I really need to change Nick Cross's ability. For somebody, for somebody like me who's played a lot of Mutt squads lately with my boy, um, yeah, go check out the Mutt squads playlist. But, um, yeah, so I've um, came to the realization that when it comes to uh, just anybody in the secondary, whether it's your sa whether it's safeties or corners, the best sex factor would typically be would typically be um, universal coverage. So Nixon is just motioning. Damn the trash talk in game. You ain't going nowhere. Whew. Spicy. Nice stuff. No chance in hell, baby. I did say I was going to do two years of Jags franchise, so, um, so, um, yeah. This is season two. 
If you haven't checked out season one, go ahead. Season one was crazy. It was a blast. Um, I'll just recap it. We won the Super Bowl. So if you just don't want to watch the entire season but just the Super Bowl, you can just go check that out as well. God. Damn, I thought Nick Bowler had good block shedding for me. Does he not? I had good block shedding. What's his tackling, though? Does he have 99 tackling for me by any chance? He's gotta be pretty damn close to it. Yeah, he's at 97. Um, what's his block shedding? Oh, it's only 79. I thought it was in the 80s. Alright. It's pretty close enough to the 80s, but, like, it's not quite there. Oh, we got Joe Burrow. Oh, he can't run! Devin Lloyd! Massive! From the shotgun, it's Burrow. I got you, boy. Bruh. What is the commentary that I'm hearing through my controller? Bruh. What the hell? There's Burrow setting up to throw it. Oh, he's not going to get Jalen Phillips. Jalen Phillips, the former. And the Jags defense. We're on him. The king of the second. Bro, is this Desmond King? Who remembers when Desmond King used to be on like one of the best corners in the league when he was on the Chargers? Because I do. Not only is he a pretty good corner, but when he, when he was in the Chargers, he was mainly um, a return specialist. But he was still a good corner for him. Yeah, I felt like taking a shot play one. Yeah, I'll tell you that didn't work out. <laughs> Maybe I should stick to the usual, AK, just give it to Travis Etienne. Because it works. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. He's so good. Oh, my God. He's like the second. He's like the side king coming to Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. He is disgusting. Yeah, you can just do that. That's fine with me. They had over 300 yards rushing last week, so I mean, um, I got the best running back in the league, bro. He's, he's him. For sure, rip 23, why the hell not? Are you sure that was a bullet pass? That might have been the weakest bullet pass I've seen in my life. Yo, let's go stretch left. You sure, Trevor? Yeah, give me that first. And you ain't stripping that boy the ball. Yeah, boy. Dude, we ain't giving it to Tank Bigsby, bro. Bring me clock, clock, clock. Whoa. You know see how much time is left? How is that knocked out? Are you kidding me? Hey, that's, that wasn't knocked out. That's just called Michael Pittman is dog. And I'll show you Lion Lion, all right? Oh, Travis Etienne! 31 yards to the house. Let's go. We'll take that. We killed two minutes off the clock. Travis Etienne. 
It's just showing why he's the best running back in the league. And yes, I, I obviously mean in this sim, not not real life. Don't get me wrong, this year he's a top he's like a top five running back this year. Just look at the numbers. If if you want to get hella specific, if you want to get into fantasy and stuff, he's top three. I'm pretty sure. I think he is the third best running back in fantasy this year. So if you really want to get that deep into numbers, if he's third, if he's the third best running back in fantasy this year, that I guess that technically means he's the third best running back this year. Technically, who's better than him? It's it would be McCaffrey and who else having a better year? It's probably somebody obvious, and I'm just stupid right now. I can't think of it. And it's definitely an elite running back. Rashad White's up there. I don't think he's having a better year than ETN. But Rashad White's also a top five running back this year. Fun fact, I also have Rashad White in fantasy. I have Rashad White, Brees Hall, and Travis Etan in my fantasy running backs. I know, I have three top 15 running backs in a 10-man league. Bro, what do you mean broke that tackle? Is that T. Higgins? It is T. Higgins. On one, I'll show you on one. Yeah, I kind of figured we're going to play action. Yeah, boy, Trayvon Walker, baby. The downside to me running this is I really don't have any good backup safeties. Oh, I don't think it matters. Because I don't see backup safeties anyway. Did you drop that or did Joe Burrow just miss that? Because I looked down. I ain't gonna cap. I prefer Benjamin St. Just in the big nickel. Wait, what the hell? Oh, it's screenplay, baby. Fumble! Oh! Devin Lloyd popped him! Joe Nixon, what are you doing, buddy? One guy doesn't get him home, the next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover. It's a 40 yard punt, six yards on the I know I want Trevor Lawrence to be good, but he's really not having the best game. Um, I ain't gonna lie, if there's one play that I can get him free yards, it's, it's my favorite play to use against the AI. So, um, I guess that's how I'm probably gonna get him going in the pass game. Yep, we'll find Gabe Davis. We're already past midfield. I think I'm also going to run this play until he's 50% completion percentage. Okay, sure, Gabe. You do you, man. He out of reach. He was right there. I, I get. I guess Trevor Lawrence is the most how inaccurate guy. I kind of hope they accept it. Oh, perfect. Well, we gotta hit Pittman underneath. All right, we'll, we'll take Michael Pittman right there. Perfect. I ain't gonna lie, that was even my original plan. Fourth and two, they're telling us to go for it. Who am I to say no? Oh, 
Gravity TN! Oh, I tried to dive in, he was denied! Oh! Heartbroken! I'm gonna pass ball to Gerald Everett. And there it is, you're so used to seeing Travis Etienne score in the running game. But there he is in the receiving game. Solid. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And a pair of stops on there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to they can do here. And they're in a bind early here, down 14 nothing. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? I want to make sure they put St. Just in there. All right, they did. Make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering Screw us on Big right now. Oh, cover for us, sure. St. Just is there, though. Sure what, the what, bro? Ooh, nice, Nick Bolton. Kept him in. We're gonna switch to man. Oh, Tyson Campbell somehow got toasted, but hey, had some nice safety help. I think it was Andres just go on the safety help. Oh, I missed him. I got a discussion, though. That's pretty whack. We can put Tane Just in the nickel as well. Nice. Number five. I think that's on here. Let's go. Now I'll use her in safety. I don't even play her lock him. We gotta, we gotta break too high. Oh God, not Jamar. Devin Roy defending Jamar Chase. I don't think I even did that. I, I, I think I pressed him pretty damn well. You're not calling that on me. How do you call that on me? I can make whatever fucking contact I want within five yards. How, how, how are you? I made no contact. Except, uh, except within the five yards. Oh yeah, then they're gonna say pass interference again. No, I should stop man pressing because they're gonna fucking call pass interference. Uh, I guess the second I man press, the, the, the second I, the second I press, oh, illegal contact. You see, you see, they're, they're, you see, they're trying, they're, they're trying to figure a way just to flag me for no fucking reason. They know, oh, all right, so if I run into the kicker, which is the biggest penalty I committed this game, and they don't, and they don't flag me. You don't flag me for intentionally running into the kicker, but I get pass interference and illegal contact for not making contact with, with the receiver whatsoever. Yeah, because that makes sense. EA is such a great game, if you can't tell. I think the goal is to hit Jerry Judy here. I just realized I have wide receiver apprentice on Jerry Judy. I have no need to when I have Hot Rowl Master. Oh, I was perfectly placed. That's how you do free form and accuracy. It is a very disturbing combo. Placement and accuracy for free form. It's just disturbing. Oh my god, Michael Pittman! Oh boy! <laughs> I'm trying to spot the wheel route. All right. 
I should have you ten out of the backfield. Yes, I do. Travis Etienne Jr. Don't know why I call him Travis Etienne Jr. for the first time, but sure. I'm weird, I guess. Which who cares? Nice. Travis Etienne has three touchdowns, two in the receiving game, one on the ground. It's just an absolute masterpiece from Trevor Lawrence this game. Damn, that was aggressive. They're going to QB Neal. Yeah, I'm going to be a rat and call a timeout with one second. That's like the most, yeah, thunder smoke, baby. Yeah, we're going to hit Joe Burrow, because why not? Cool. That's a primetime game, I see. They got to start taking deep shots to some extent. No, they really don't, but assuming they score a touchdown on this drive, um, then they'll practically be forced to. I think I would have had a kick return. I just forgot to move at the end. Oh, I, I kind of screwed myself. Um, sure. Who the hell is Davis? Oh, it's Dave Davis. Sure, that was not open like the game told me, but I'll take it. I mean, it was enough for a first down. We'll hit our tight end underneath, Gerald Everett. Place been an accuracy, baby. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy on this game. Yeah, I mean, I should have thrown it so much just sooner. I just didn't think he was going to cover it. It should have been picked off. I don't know how he didn't pick it off. I won't question because it's perfect. Oh, Trevor Lawrence is unstoppable. Oh, I mean, he has X-Factor for the rest of the game then. Oh, well, there's Travis Etienne. Yep. The go. No, Travis Etienne's hurt, bro. He's perfectly fine. Okay, no, tell me what to do. Like how they told me square was open. He wasn't. Oh, pectoral strain, that's all? Get back in there, Travis. You be you be this you be the god that you are. You gonna really let the guy with the pectoral strain just straight up score a rushing touchdown on you? Damn right you are, that's just too much space. Pectoral strain, my boy! The goal! You gotta love him! Ooh, nine plays. Spicy! Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do six minute quarters. I've practically milked like two and a half minutes of clock and even scored a touchdown. They're bringing it out. Oh, God. They actually might return it. Hell no, they're, hell no, they ain't returning it. <laughs> but this guy tried to outrun Nick Cross. Bro, how did you tear your abdominal? What the hell, Taven Jenkins? 
That must have been on the PAT. How do you tear it? Bro, why do you get injured on the goddamn PAT, though? Oh, yeah, Nick Bolton. Oh, yeah, he's feeling the effects. Doug Robinson. Yeah, you're feeling the effects of that one, boy. Jamar Chase just juked right into me. Oh, God. Rip Jamar there. Who's defending Jamar? Tyson Campbell? Oh, hell yeah. See, I knew a route like that was coming. I didn't expect it to be that. Um... The reason why I expected it was because I was already running that way. I just took a very awkward angle, if you couldn't tell. Oh, did I? Oh, you got a sack, but they're probably going to go offsides on me. I try to, I try to jump. I try to jump in and just bring extra pressure. Yup. There it is, yup. Hell no, you ain't going anywhere. That's right, game. Oh, left tackle. Oh. Well, what do you mean the left tackle? How is that guy a legal receiver? What? He didn't declare eligible. What is this? I didn't see him put his hand up or anything. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's a sign for um to declare yourself as an eligible receiver. I didn't see that. Did you? Yeah, you didn't. I'll tell you that. Oh my god, what a run. Oh, he's gone. Oh, baby! Travis Etienne! And the showboat. Yeah, Tra Trevor Lawrence loving what he's seeing out of his college, out of his buddy. Travis Etienne. An absolute demon on this game. It's demon time, baby. Who cares if this guy was four for four last drive? Because well, he's four for four last uh, drive had a touchdown. Guess what? And to that, I say, look at the scoreboard. Yeah, this game can flex what Joe Burrow did last drive. All I have to say is look at the scoreboard, and then now just shut the game up real quick. He dropped it. What a clown. Let's go, Tyson. Nice, Tyson Campbell. Pass deflection, baby. Punch safe, man. The way to go just because if they ever try to fake it. Nice juke left, pal. Travis Etienne almost had 200 scrimmage yards. He's a line, line. Sure thing. 
And now he's got to make sure. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. If Lion Lion means a 74 yard rushing touchdown, sure. I got you. I ain't gonna lie, I was flex, flex equals goddamn cold on this game. Holy cow! I didn't think a flex touchdown celebration is that would be that cold, but sure. Well, two drives in a row of having one play rushing touchdowns. This drive was 74 yard rushing touchdown for Travis Etienne, and the last drive was 70, and the drive before that was 75. So if you want to know how to dominate a game, on it, how to dominate on this game, it's just as simple as give the ball to Travis Etienne. He does the rest. This one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final What? They're gonna tell me he catches that. Oh, okay, so. First of all, it doesn't help how Asante Samuel wanted to be an absolute dumbass. Stuffed. Bro, where did you think you were going? You can't run on this team. I knew this was my last year and I had a lot of caps, salary cap last season. So I made sure to bust it on the best D tackles I could find. Why specifically the D tackles, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you. It's a simple reason. He has double me, Jamar, I think. Yeah, he does. If I double team Jamar Chase and they throw it to him, most of the, I can guarantee he's not coming down with it. But the best way, the, the reason why I'm double teaming him is because if they throw it to him, no way he comes down with it. And if they don't throw it to him because they see he's double teamed, well, that means he'll just lose his X factor for not getting targeted three for three, three targets in a row. I don't know why they're running the ball. If I'm being honest. Perfect. Me double team Jamar Chase the entire time, made sure they didn't throw Jamar Chase, and um, now they don't got an X factor on him. It might have been petty, but trust me, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, I wasn't expecting the out route. You know what? Uh, I'll, I'll give him props. Uh, I'll give props on the play call. I will tell you, I was not expecting an out route. If I was, if I was, if I was expecting any route to the outside, if anything, I would have probably been expecting a whip route. If anything, just a standard out route, I was not expecting. I was expecting something more of like a slant, a potential drag, maybe even a potential in route. But an out route, god damn that, they got me. Oh no, that that is why you don't. I recovered that. <laughs> that is hilarious. How did I recover that? Actually, I'll put Etienne on the Texas route. Oh. So he's being an elite receiver this game. I like it. Honestly, let's see if they let's see if they leave the Texas route open again. They do. Come on, man! Stop playing with me! Stop playing with me! Last year, I last season. Oh God, yeah, I botched the PAT. All right. 
Boing! We got the doing! Doug Peterson can't believe it. My bad, Doug. My bad. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there. No chance, as in no chance in hell, or you tell me. Leave it down in the comments. No chance in what. A decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense are going against. He probably wants to throw it towards Jamar. Oh my God, I was right there. It's just, it's just I turned around last second to to, to look towards Jamar. If I never did that, oh my God, that was a pick. He he would jailing threw it right at me. It's just I looked towards Jamar. Bro, I pulled myself. Credit to Joe Burrow for having the balls to throw that. Uh, I'll say that. That was a very ballsy play. Because if I didn't, if I did not look the direction of Jamar, then that was the easiest pick. Burrow gonna fake to mix it and now look to throw. Oh, right, Nick Cross, whatever. I don't care if my boy, if my players got toasted because they make tackles. Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and ten right now. Well, I'll say sack. Yeah, he had a wide open T Higgins there. Doesn't matter because he couldn't even get it. <clears throat> Where's Jamar? Jamar's in the squad. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. <laughs> Benjamin St. Just. Or the commentators on this game like to say St. Just, but. So first and ten now from the 30. Oh, come on. I was ready to man press him. I was ready to lock him down. They were scared, that's why. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. And Burrow gonna throw again. And he will find his man Chase You all gotta keep this one, bro. Excuse me. Imply tell me what that implies. What what is that supposed to imply? Excuse me? Trying to call me trash? Bro. If I was playing man to man, I would say that is my fault, but knowing I played zone. Who the hell was it that was that would Jimmy looked at him? Because honestly, if I was the linebacker there, I would have picked that. I'm not trying to like praise myself of being a god, but like, come on, Devin, you've been so good this entire game, and you're gonna just let that go by you? Or was it Devin? Who's this guy? Chase. Okay, you know. If that was Devin Lloyd, I was about to say, how is that not picked? But it is a D lineman. But still, we didn't know that's a D lineman. My God, that's right there. Like, since you're, since you're a D lineman, I'm not expecting you to pick it off. But like, make him swat that ball, bro. Oh, my God. I, I, I screwed it up. Thank the Lord, 33 was there. Devin Lloyd. <laughs> Devin Lloyd out here recovering on side kicks now. Ooh, you like them dots? Look at me go with this free form. Free form equals broke. Oh, that's a touchdown. Woo! Travis Etienne with almost 120 receiving yards. Frazier is at 117. Travis Etienne is having a hell of a game. He had 300 yards, over 300 yards rushing against Dallas. 
And boy, oh boy, is he not. He definitely doesn't have the rushing numbers as he did week one. But when it comes to total scrimmage yards, he is a killer this game. And so is Jamar Chase. Eight catches for 129 yards and three touchdowns. <laughs> Jesus. Trust me. We haven't found a way to stop Jamar. And I don't think that's going to stop. They would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Good stuff, Tyson Campbell. Pass knockout, baby. Yeah, he didn't want that. He didn't want that. Will Anderson was coming off the edge hot. He was coming in hot real quick. Actually, it's Jalen Phillips. What am I talking about? Pick! Asante Samuel Jr. Picks off Joe Burrow. Good thing I'm on, good thing Joe Burrow's unstoppable. I'm not Joe Burrow, I'm Trevor Lawrence is unstoppable. Cause that means um, I can't lose my X Factor, so that's wonderful. Bro, I had him, bro. I just want Travis Etienne to have three more receiving yards, and Cincinnati is not letting me have it. These guys suck. <laughs> Travis dropped it. Come on, Travis. You're my guy. Come on, bro. Let's go, baby! Travis Etienne, that's my boy. Oh! Ah, he got leveled. Don't tell me clock, clock, clock ever again. I'll show you clock, clock, clock. What? You want to talk about bringing some heat? Um, God damn, they did it there. Well, I love this route. Um, maybe I, yeah, this is zone though. Can I hit it? I would love to. Nope. I tried. I probably should have been picked off multiple times. But we didn't throw a pick that game, boys. That's a great game. Pretty damn accurate. 20 for 28, 336 yards, four touchdowns. Travis Etienne had 10. He only had 10 carries, but he had 253 yards. <laughs> and four rushing touchdowns. And receiving, well, he led the game in receiving with nine catches. He led the game in, in receiving yards with 143, and he definitely led the game in touchdowns with four. Dude, Jamar Chase had a hell of a game with eight catches, 129 yards, and three touch and three touchdown receptions. Um, Travis Etienne just found a way to outperform him in every single and what in all of those three major categories, though. This guy is crazy. Yeah, um... Oh my god, he's so goddamn good, bro. He has 69 catching. Nice. Uh, I'm just giving him a plus one. I'll take plus two spin. I mean, I prefer to get the... the receiving back. I mean, no, I...
had a tandem breakout. Um, I don't think I got it though. <laughs> it looks like I didn't. I can only assume another player of the week. Yep. Oh my god, Jalen Hurts and Travis Etienne have already repeated as offensive player of the week. Wow. All right, all right. They cooking. I'm just curious. What did I give Travis Etienne last year when it, came, when it comes to carries? We've just done all of our contract extensions. No, I was just doing something real quick before I did contract extensions. My bad for um for not turning um the the stream back on. The it was paused. My bad. I know you guys probably wanted to see it. Uh, my bad. Well, who really could use XP? Honestly, Andre Sisko can get it. Trevon Walker can get it. Don't know why we have Chris Allen, because that's probably our fourth receiver. Um, I have Trent Brown for some odd reason. Um, I really want to say um, Connor Williams, just because he's normal development. Anybody down here? Isaiah, like, we could really use it. Um, Devin Lloyd's my second user, so, like, I mean, he could probably use it as well. Santa Sarah Jr. is actually a um, superstar, so probably not. Um, we'll get it to, like, Isaiah, like, we. Tremont Walker's an 84. I could probably find a different niche for it. Alright, if I could just get Benjamin St. Just to be better, but at the same time, it really doesn't matter. Um, I guess Elijah Vera Tucker. I want to trade Trent Brown just because he's old. And see if I can get a better left tackle. By doing that, I should be able... Let me check my O-line in general. Chase Young is one overall What? I'm pretty sure I've been focusing on run stopper for him, but I do really want edge threat on him. Because the second I got edge threat on Chase Young, this guy is going to be extremely good. And he's actually going to be a reliable pass rusher. And that's exactly what I need. 
I need somebody reliable to get to the to opposing quarterbacks. So let's see. Left tackle, Trent Brown, Taven Jenkins, Connor Williams, Roger Vera Tucker. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence is my blind side tackle, so I kind of need something better than an 82. And besides, tackles are just more important than, than anything else anyway. Pretty sure Rashawn Fair is a pass protector. 90 run blocking, 89 pass blocking, 94 strength. He, he, he's a do-it-all. I don't mind trading picks for him either. Oh, I only have a 6 and a 7. Well, I ain't gonna lie, that's a problem. I wouldn't mind trading Curtis Samuel in the deal. Ooh, maybe he's too much of a reach then if I don't have good picks. I want better than an 82 though. I don't mind getting somebody older if I'm being honest. I'll, I'll, I I would not mind getting somebody older. This is a minus one, uh, but the Charles Cross would be better for the future, but I said I was only doing two years. So with that being said, it's probably not ideal. What if I throw Curtis Samuel in this deal instead? I don't really throw to the tight end much, and I would hate getting rid of Gerald Everett, especially how I just signed him in the offseason. But if this goes through, I'll gladly do it. It doesn't. That is kind of unfortunate. Not gonna lie. Um, where is this left at? Oh, red. Oh, forget about it. All right, so there's really nothing interesting when it comes to left tackles. How about right tackle? You know, actually, Orlando Brown was actually originally left tackle, and I only moved him to right tackle because I got Trent Brown. So, uh, if I can just move back Orlando Brown to left tackle afterwards. Jesus Christ, kind of should have saw that coming. Taylor Moten, going to be bad. Ryan Ramchick, he's kind of actually getting up there in age. They're semi-interested in both Curtis Samuel and... They're semi-interested in all three. Oh my god. Yo, I think I can actually get this done with a 6th and a 7th. Lord have mercy. Oh no, this is actually bad because I can't do more than three players. Um, maybe I trade Gerald Everett for a pick. Maybe that's the move, if possible. Do you think a second? Probably not. No way. That actually, I did not think was gonna happen. Um. Because Ramchick's actually on the older side. So if I could actually get Ryan Ramchick, that would be crazy for the O-line. He is in superstar development like he used to be. Like, and I mean used to be, I mean, well, he was last year. So unfortunately, he isn't. But that is still massive for the O-line. Or I could just still throw in a random player. Or I could just potentially throw in a seventh. How about the six with it? If not, I'll just throw in a bomb. Oh, so close. Alright. I don't really want to throw in that. Yeah, bro. Take Jason Poe. Oh, that is so massive. I don't think you guys understand how good that is for the team. Now we actually have a very reliable right tackle. Um, Orlando Brown, like I said, used to be left tackle. But I moved to right tackle before because I got Trent Brown. But now that I just got Ryan Ramchick, um, we're just going to move Orlando Brown back to left tackle where he originally was on this game. All right, um, Ryan Ramchick, that is beautiful to see. 90 strength, 93 run blocking, 88 pass blocking. Um, yeah, we just got a very good right tackle. Unfortunately, it did come at the cost of trading Curtis Samuel. So we really don't have a good fourth receiver. But, I mean, it's better than nothing, right? I'll take backfield mismatch on Travis Etienne. I should probably get rid of, um... 
wide receiver apprentice on Jerry Judy because what's the point of having it if I already have Hot Round Master on what you want to call it on Trevor Lawrence. So I'll go evasive route tech instead of acrobat. I think I'm gonna go grab and go. Yeah, Jerry Judy is extremely good now. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good old line. I know I did get rid of Gerald Everett as well, but it was worth it because without getting rid of Gerald Everett for the second round pick that I put in the trade, I would have never gotten Ryan Ramchick. So we are stuck with Isaiah Likely's our tight end one, which I actually think is very good on Madden, actually, especially franchise. You're probably thinking without Boosie the 77, but trust me, I've used Isaiah Likely in the past. He's really good on this game. So don't let the overall on him fool you. That's all I'm saying. Don't let the overall on him fool you. Jalen Phillips is actually two overalls away from getting edged at himself. This is actually very good. This is actually extremely good. This is this is very scary for opposing defenses. Why does Chase Young not have superstar? It's because he didn't have a good year last year. That's why. I was so excited about getting him extra, but he won't. about one step ahead I should really get like short route KO and stuff I'll go short route KO and medium route KO alongside acrobat because I realize flat zone KO really isn't doing much um I might keep it on Asante Samuel Jr. just because there's really nothing I can put much better on him but until I do like what can I get for 85 zone I got pick. I got pick artist, which is actually very good. And I got deep route KO when he just hits eighty five overall. That's actually very very good. I know I said I'm only doing one more season. This is the last season, so I probably shouldn't trade DJ Reader. No, I was gonna say I was about to, but nice six strength, eighty nine block shedding. Yeah, he's actually very good. Uh, how about Grover Stewart, though? Um, 85 block, shedding 91 strength. No, oh, not release. Oh, my God. I'm just curious. Is there just going to be a better D-tackle? If there is, and I'll keep them. I, I'm just curious if there will be. At all of our as abilities, um, what's his block shedding? What's his strength? Worst strength, worst block shedding, but he does get abilities, though. Vita Vea is just not going to happen. I'll promise you that. Can I get the wrong pain? Question mark. 95 strength, 82 block shedding. So plus one strength, but minus three block shedding. I don't think it's worth it. Especially I'm only doing one more year anyway. Jalen Carter is phenomenal, but he also has a very crazy trade value on this game, as you may assume. All right, so the stuff, the, the D tackles that would be better than Grover Stewart actually are, you know, just in general, um, just harder to trade for. I really built Gabe Davis up pretty well. I should probably give Gabe Davis slot just to get that catching traffic, short route running up and stuff. Unless if I could just trade for a better receiver. I know I like speed and I know T. Higgins is much slower. But I mean, T. Higgins is a nice physical presence to have. I'm just curious. What the hell what, what did the trade look like? Okay, yep, it's, it's in the red. Kind of figured. Chris Godwin will be very good, actually. Minus two acceleration, minus one speed, but better hands and just a much 
more quality route runner. Ooh, maybe I could pull something off for this, you know? Keyword being maybe. Because I have no clue. Luke Fortner, question mark, interested in him. Kind of figured that they wouldn't, but I just wanted to try. Chad Mama, any interest in Chad Mama? Ooh, you know, I did raise it to the dark green. I mean, like, there's a chance. Caleb Vaughn, Chase on, nah. Antonio Johnson, by any chance? No. What if I would go back to Luke Fortner knowing that I just put in Chad Mama? I just want to see if I can just get a more reliable receiver, that's all. You know what? This is, they're actually the same overall without boost, actually. Marquise Brown's much faster. That catching traffic sucks, though. I could just give him slot. Alright. Christian Kirk. This could be very interesting. Same speed, minus one acceleration, just a better route runner. Alright. I mean, there is options. I don't think... I would really love Devontae Smith, but there's no... I'm surprised that's even in the green. That is pretty insane. Brandon Ayuk, potentially? But Devontae Smith is in the green. That's crazy. Gary Wilson. Oh! Okay. I didn't think that was going to happen, but... Sure. Gary Wilson. Minus one acceleration compared to Gabe Davis, but he does have plus one speed. Um, yeah, if I could just improve his deep route running and stuff, yeah. Um, I'll say that's a dub. As long as Devin Lloyd or Nick Bowen doesn't get hurt, then um, we're fine. But if one of them does, then I have no backup middle linebacker. And because of that, I'm also just curious. Um, what, what's my roster size at? Do I have it at 46? Do I have it at 53? Or do I have it off? Because I usually put it off so I can have as much as possible. Um, okay, my minimum roster size is off, which is perfect. The reason why I have it off is because like, if I have it at like the max or something, I hate how they say, ooh, cut a player, do this. I just hate it. Um... Honestly, I'll take a backup running back. No, I'll, I'll take Clyde Edwards Hilaire as my backup running back to Travis Etienne. If Etienne ever gets hurt, cool. We Then we got one. Then we got a nice backup running back. Our best fullback on the block. Ah, God. Sure. I'll take it. Um, middle linebacker. Just in case if one of my middle linebackers gets hurt. I don't like Joe Schober because he's slow. And I really don't care about age because I'm only doing what this is my last season anyway. So, um... Jordan Hicks? Is this Landon Collins? It is Landon Collins. Um... Jordan Hicks, what's his zone? Oh, Jesus. That's actually bad. That is actually very bad. Um, who's got the best zone coverage? All right, it is. It's actually Landon Collins, and he's actually pretty fast for a middle line. All right, you know what? He's pretty fast for a middle linebacker. He's got decent zone for somebody that used to be a safety converted to a linebacker. Um, yeah. Um, obviously not better than Chad Mama, but like. I guess if one of my middle linebackers ever gets hurt, like, I mean, Landon Collins isn't... Unless... Unless if I could trade for Chad Mama back, now that I got Landon Collins. That would be absolutely, absolute savagery. He's not much higher. He is... 
Uh, he's actually worse in zone. But, I, but he's just a higher overall. Therefore, that'll just be better. And I think he's just much better at tackling, though, Landon Collins, right? Oh my god, the tackling is a massive difference. We got in the green, baby. Now I actually don't care about Tank Bigsby. Uh, unless I can get away with Jake trading Jaquan Hardy. I can. So now if ETN ever gets hurt for an extended time, I have Travis ETN with Tank Bigsby bad being, being the third string. I didn't think that would have went through, if I'm being honest. And who's my returner? My return team. I think it's Parker Washington. It's not Parker Washington. It used to be Parker Washington. With that being said, I don't really have a need for Parker Washington. I might as well try and find an, a player around his overall. That's just faster. Tyra Scott would be perfect. Two bats in the red. I guess somebody with all the development is just valued that goddamn high. Charlie Jones isn't that fast. I love Khalil Shakir on this game. You want to do for Khalil Shakir, Buffalo? Mm, yes, give me Khalil Shakir. What a guy. We got a, we got a demon as our four-string receiver. Well, we're becoming hella deep on this team. I like it. Um, I kind of want to trade Desmond King. I probably can't get much better than him, just for the fact that he's getting up there in age. But I'm just curious. If I can, I will try to find somebody who's overall. If I can't, the game is the game. Tyreek Stevenson? I mean, he's very fast. I don't think he'll go through because he's much younger. But, I mean, it was like halfway. It's not bad. Cam Taylor Britt could be a potential option. Kyer Elam. This could be something special if it goes through. Oh, yes. It's a two. It's a minus two overall. It's minus two overalls, but I, I think that's good. Oh God, but but he's not in the fourth. He's not in the third string corner. It's Benjamin Saint Just, and I don't want to trade Saint Just. But if that means this makes Kyrie Elon third corner, I'll do it. I'll do it no problem. Unless if I can somehow get Cam Taylor Bray out of him, which if I can, I'll do it. Then I wouldn't mind Kyrie Elon. Wait, but Kyrie Elon's a 78. All right, so Kyrie Elon is still a third string corner then. Cam Taylor Bray, phenomenal. I'll take that hella fast. So I know I did take a minus two downgrade at so third corner is a minus two downgrade and and corner four just took a minus one or I think it was a minus one but like I'm fine with it. Now that I just got younger at corner three and corner four, I did say before I might, that I was only going to do two seasons. But knowing I just got younger on my corners, maybe I do want to trade away my D-tackles for the future and maybe do a third season. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe just doing those trades has me interested in doing another season, potentially. Um, I ain't gonna cap, bro. Now I'm interested. Oh my god, I could get Vita Vea. I very well could get Vita Vea. Holds no value, sure, don't care. Cooper Hodges. Okay, holds no value. Luke Fortner. Should hold some value. Definitely got closer. Tyler Lacy question mark. Oh, so close. Caleb 
on Chase Don Stronsky bring value. Let's go, Vita Vaya, boy. Give me Vita Vitamin, bro. Yeah, give me this big boy known as Vita Vitamin on this team. 98 strength, 85 block strength, 85 power. Damn, he's actually a good pass rusher. I also have to improve his block shedding. Just get his block shedding up so he can just be better defending the run. And then we got a stud. Now, the real question is, can I trade Grover Stewart to get DJ Reader back? Because if I can, that's just finesse. Okay, I tried. I tried to finesse, but I couldn't. With that being said, maybe I just go to Ron Payne. And that goes through straight up. So I just got younger there. Which is phenomenal. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, boys. I'm, I think I might be interested in doing a third season. I thought I was only gonna do two, but... Now that I just got younger at my corners, and I just got younger on my second D tackle by a whole three years, I actually might be intrigued of doing a third season. Which makes me getting rid of Trent Brown even better. Which even though Ramchick is great, I might consider getting rid of Ramchick as long as I can get Panay Sewell. If I get Panay Sewell out of this, then this is crazy. Oh my god. I think it's possible if I'm being honest. What if I go Clyde Edwards Hilaire instead? Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think they seem. In, I don't think they seem intrigued in that. What if I do Tank Big Z and Khalil Shakir? Oh God. All right. Um, found out the hard way that uh, I'm probably not gonna get Panay Sewell. Brian O'Neill. Ooh, he's actually he's actually twenty eight. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll see if I can get. He is two overalls lower, but I mean he is two years younger. Where if I where if I do if I do end up doing another year, then I just got younger at right tackle. That just works perfectly. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I I, I, I think I'm gonna be doing a third season. I realize that Protected really isn't doing much. So instead of doing that, we're going to just do something that works. Fearless is very good. Um, where's Set Feet Elite? No, I want Set Feet, set feet Elite. Or is it Pass Feet Elite? Ah, shit, I don't know. I think it's Set Feet. Yes, it is Set Feet. I just looked at... At the description, it is set fee. I am 100% positive. Conductor. Um, what can I get instead? Threat detector would be good. Because I don't have any abilities on my O-line. With that being said, on third and fourth downs, I can... My... On third and fourth downs, as long as I have threat detector, it'll, tell, it'll show me... Any um, extra blitzers, any extra blitzers when I pre-play, which is just hold R2. That's actually very good. Gunslinger, Hot Route Master, Fearless, Set Feet Elite, Threat Detector with Pro Reads. Actually, I don't really... Pro Reads is actually very good, but I prefer Gambit because I can't get picked off by AI defenders. Well, I can get picked off by AI defenders, but the only AI defenders that can pick me off are the ones with Pick Artist. So... In other words, the only AI defenders that can pick me off are AI defenders with abilities. But even if you have abilities, is is even if you have abilities, you might not guarantee to pick me off. Because only so only you can only the only way you can have abilities is if you have superstar development or superstar X Factor. So if you're a star development or normal development, you can't have abilities. Therefore, I can't get picked off by any of those corners. Which, honestly, I'm pretty sure, like, more than half the corners on this game have normal or star development. Probably even more than that. Probably pushing 70%. So then, 
I have to break it down even more to like the tw- to like the twenty or thirty percent of the corners that have abilities. Um, not and even the ones that have abilities, I think more than half of them don't even have pick artists. So there's probably like ten or fifteen corners that probably that have a. I think there's like ten corners that have abilities that actually have pick cars. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is Stefan Gilmore. There's definitely another one that's not Stefan Gilmore, but the only one I can think of off the top of my head is Stefan Gilmore. But he might have lost abilities. I'm pretty sure Trayvon Diggs usually has pick artists, if I'm not mistaken. In fact, I'm going to check every single corner. Why? Vacuum. Coming with it. Oi. All right, well, we're going to just check every corner with abilities and see if they have pick artists, see how many do. Tredavious White, that's one. Pat Sertain, I don't think Pat Sertain has pick artists. Oh, but you know what? I'll, I'll make it extra hard on me. I'll make sure I'll give him pick artists. I'll make it as hard as possible. And outside shape, that is so strange. We'll give him acrobat. We'll also give him medium route KO alongside all of this. So that's two. Pat Sertain, at the end of the day, really, realistically, also should have pick ours. How he doesn't, I think is crazy. Who the hell is this? What is this? This gotta be, I was gonna say, this gotta be a rookie. Reinforcement, that's so dog. Strip specialist is more you. The only time return man's actually good is if he's an actual return man on the team. By how he doubt that guy is, with all due respect. 
Julius Brown, this guy's a, this guy's a second year player. He gained superstar for Indy last year. That's crazy. Return man, a strip specialist. We will give him strip specialist. Trayvon Diggs lost abilities. Stephon Gilmore lost abilities. How is Deron Bland a 77? I don't know. There's Jalen Ramsey after pick artist. It's honestly realistic if he does. We'll give him shutdown. Uh, we'll just give Jalen Ramsey pick artist because he doesn't have a fourth ability score for some reason. So that's actually that's three corners with pick artists, and I gave it to two of them. Darius Slay does not. AJ Terrell shouldn't. Nope. Tyson Campbell, Sante Samuel, both on my team. Um, what do I have on Tyson Campbell? I ain't gonna lie, even though this is very good, I might want to get rid of medium route KO for pick artists. Because when he gets interceptions, he gets infinite stamina on the return. So that would be extremely, extremely helpful. And I can give that to Asante Samuel Jr. very soon as well. Um, Sauce Gardner, I think, has it. He doesn't. Why does he have inside shade and set pick arts? And why does he have deep out zone KO? What? I'll give him short route KO because he's more of a man guy than zone. I don't know why they're trying to slide on zone abilities on him. Jair Alexander, I am most certainly positive has pick artist. He actually doesn't because they don't. They didn't give him a fourth ability swap. Sorry. Um, we'll get rid of outside shake because that's pretty useless. We'll give him medium route KO instead of a zone thing because zones. He's not bad in zone, but like he's more of a man guy. Um, Marlon Humphrey. Does not have pick arts, but we're getting rid of inside. A player that has abilities that has like inside or outside shade, I am absolutely getting rid of it on them for something like pick artist. Ooh, Stingley got abilities for Houston last year. Congrats to him. Strip specialist persistent is useless. We'll give him on the ball so he's fooled by receiver runoffs way less often. Which makes sense for somebody that's supposed to be a, you know, a man guy. Instead of giving him a useless ability, you give him something that not only would be very useful, but something that actually makes sense on him. Um, we're hopping into a um, division game against the Texans. Alright, and let's go. And after my Christmas party, uh, my grandma's gonna drop me off at my friend Mason's house, and me and him are gonna have a blast, brother. In fact, let me try to FaceTime him right now. It's crazy. He's the guy that never answers my FaceTimes, but he picks up the Snapchat video calls. Like, what a freak. But I still love him. That's my guy. Let's see if he picks up my FaceTime. Like I said, he never does. He picks up the Snapchat video calls, but not the FaceTimes. Uh, uh, see, watch. Now if I would Snapchat video call, now that, I, now that the FaceTime feel, he's going to pick up. Cause that, cause that's how he is. Unless he's sleeping, might be all, might also might be a possibility. Hey yo. Yeah. So I'm, um, so I just checked my grandma if it's all right if I come over if she could drop me off afterwards. So if your mother's fine with me coming over after my Christmas party, I'll be there. So, so, um, I know.
All right, boys, done deal. Going to my boy Mason's house after the Christmas party. Lit. It's going to be a blast Christmas party with some of my favorite people. I, I shouldn't say some of my favorite people. I'll say Christmas party with my fellow co-workers at Airpool. Shout out to them. You know, it's my favorite people besides my family. If it, like, honestly, I'm not going to lie. My co-workers at Aaron Pools, once again, so, some phenomenal people. And you know what? It's like, honestly, like a second family to me. So, like, you know what? Amazing people, once again. Love them to death. Do anything. It's just the type of person I am anyway. Like, I'll do anything for anybody. Even though they're not like my legitimate blood and stuff, you know, I'll still do whatever, whatever for them. Lamar and Zay Flowers recreate me. <laughs> that meme, oh my god. Oh, it was fourth down? Oh, I was in punt. Oh, I didn't think I was in punt for it. I thought I picked a legitimate play. Oh, bro, if I just cut back, if I just ran back sooner, that would have been golden. Because I had that. Oh. That's so unfortunate, man. Red on red. Sure. Garrett Wilson, well, welcome to the Jags. Play action. There's Garrett Wilson. The double juke. Almost into the end zone. Down at the four. And Garrett Wilson. Three catches. To Tra not Travis. No. Trevor Lawrence. Three for three. However many yards that drive was. And we ended up giving all three targets to Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson completed every single uh, completed every single target. And we end it with a touchdown. That is solid work. Let me check. Is, is my fantasy football opponent in the semifinals taking out his taking out Jamar Chase yet? He has, but he's left it empty. What? Breaks that. Bro, he breaks every instinct, bro. Is that Damian Pierce? Bro, where's that in real life? He sucks this year. Damn, the, the, the controller just yelled shit right, right in my ears. Oh, I wanted to go to middle linebacker instead. I botched it, whatever. Where, 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 where's my boy, Tim? I'm going to tell him you have an empty spot in your lineup. You have, no, I don't want to say an empty spot in your lineup. I'll say your, your wide receiver two spot is empty. I know he took out Jamar Chase, but why did he just not play? Why is that so weird? In the right now. I mean, Let's go, right Nickel. Let's right. run, man. Probably going to be leaving in an hour and a half, so I'll probably stream for like practically like another hour. I keep forgetting to switch, bro. Bro, Nick Bourne just stole the tackle from Tyson Campbell. 
Are you kidding me, bro? What a greedy, what a greedy guy. First and ten, it's Pierce. Out of one, Chase Young. Well, the numbers for Pierce last week. 14 carries, 68 yards, and a touchdown. Not in the red this week last week running the ball, but definitely room for improvement for their numbers. No doubt, they made some slight adjustments. How they got called. No, that's probably false start. Yeah, let's go. New England's doing up. Bro, what's New England up to in this sim? <laughs> We're going to show blitz. And then just drop back. Oh, we just missed him completely. Tyson Campbell. Picks off CJ Stroud. Run. Uh, honestly, I ain't going to lie. I wouldn't mind you. Oh, that's fearless for you. I can just throw it out from sacks, no problem, under pressure. It don't matter. Yeah, they say dropped, but I mean, like, I don't think Garrett Wilson would have dropped that. that. That was a very good play from the defender. I wouldn't say that's dropped, like, sure. Whatever makes you happy, though. Nice block on the outside. Travis Etienne's in. The GOAT. We love Travis Etienne. Or for the boys back home, a.k.a. my stepbrother, who, or, I don't say my stepbrother, but a couple people, um, whatever I play Madden with, um, our meme is saying ETN because <laughs> why not <laughs> 14 nothing we capitalize on the interception that CJ Stroud threw and we made and we made Houston pay also I'm gonna have Nick Bourne on a QB spy I know it really makes no sense just for the fact that CJ Stroud isn't the scrambling type. I don't know why I did that, but sure. I won't, uh, I'm not going to question if I'm going to be honest. I'm supposed to cover the running back here. Alright, I guess Damian Pierce just rips that, like, no problem. We ran damn well against the Blitz, but when we run zone, this guy just couldn't run. How is it he can't run when I, like, his first carry, I end up running zone. He couldn't run it against zone, but against man. Oh! Asante Samuel Jr. On the coverage on Tank Dell. Nick Cross is just such a demon on this game. He's so fast. Ooh, that might be a holding call. Yeah, we'll take that. Pretty sure it was the guy that was trying to block Tyson Campbell. I don't think that was the guy that was blocking Tyson Campbell. What do I have on Nick Cross? Reach, elite, recoup, probably. Is he, it's just, I don't think he's just a high enough overall to get good abilities. Ooh, got a little feisty right there, Devin. All right. I, I respect it. Shout out Devin Lloyd. I'm pretty sure he's the one that's 33. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I don't know what CJ Shaw was doing there. But the absolute rocks. Yeah, 
Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 16. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll get this out to Break the tackle. Yeah, four, four yards. Oh, I'll take it. Injury to Daryl Taylor. Definitely somebody on Houston. Great timing. Ball was... Where Travis Etienne... Travis Etienne was like right in the circle. They said... What? I guess I can't run away from him. Sure. All right, yep. Let's go! The wheel route, baby! The adjustment! Oh, wait, never mind. Why, what do I mean, the adjustment? I ran mesh spot. Jerry Judy's getting pressed. That's weird, because I generally use your Jerry Judy to get around him, and I did, and then all of a sudden he didn't. Sure. Nice, he takes the hit, and he's getting yards. Hell, I have to see him, Jerry. I'll have to see it. Travis Etienne, give that boy that 20 yard carry. Pin him crossing out potentially. Yup. Big baby! Michael Pittman! Oh, that's spicy, bro. <laughs> After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guy oh. will get it. At the 20 My phone froze. Oh, no, 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 I'm fixed. Okay, go. Uh, that was strange. I should probably charge my phone for my for my Christmas party. Twenty-seven degrees, gnarly. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going. Twenty. Ah, Sante Samuel couldn't. He tried. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because I don't really like Will Anderson in zone. If I'm being honest, I'm gonna make him play man on him. Oh, I got. Well, I was actually thinking to put him to blitz him, actually, instead of putting him in man. If I put him in man to man. If I blitzed there, I think I would have busted off that run better. I think I'm fine playing him in, in zone here, though. Oh, uh, that, yeah, that wasn't my zone. That was right over the middle of the field. But that, that wasn't mine. Hopefully, obviously nothing. Whoever the hell runs the middle, either Devin Lloyd or Nick Bowen on that play. Oh, God. All right, Nick Cross. It's crazy because Nick Cross was normal development last year, and he hasn't had a breakout challenge this year. He somehow went from the lowest development trait possible to the highest within one year. I've seen people go up two. Like, it's not honestly rare to see somebody go up two. Because usually when people go up two development traits in one year, usually it's they get a breakout challenge throughout the season, they succeed it, and then because they're in stats, then they usually get a development trait upgrade after that. So I've seen two development trait upgrades in one year, a good amount. But three, I've never seen once. 
So for Nick Cross to go from normal to superstar X Factor within one year is legit insanity. God, man. Oh, because I'm running. I was in 4-3. I thought I was in nickel. I'm like, bro. That makes more sense why the hell Trevon Walker's in coverage. Terrible throw ball. Asante Samuel almost picks it off. I should say Asante Samuel Jr. The reason why I don't say Michael Pittman Jr. Travis Etienne Jr. is, well, simple. The fathers aren't in the league anymore. Well, I, I know that Asante Samuel Jr.'s father isn't in the league anymore, but at least he's a pretty well-known cornerback and was also good at the game. With all due respect, nobody has any memory of how good Travis Etienne's father was or Michael Pittman's father was. He overthrew him. Over this, but just for me to say Asante Samuel, people might think of Asante Samuel, as in Asante Samuel Sr., as in the one that played for the Patriots and won multiple Super Bowls. But if I would say Michael Pittman, I think all of you guys would think of Michael Pittman Jr. If I would say Travis Etienne, you guys would think of Travis Etienne Jr. You would think of the people that are on my team, you wouldn't think of their parents. But if I would say Asante Samuel, you would probably think of Asante Samuel Sr. So that's why I specifically say Asante Samuel Jr. Because you guys probably wouldn't think of the one on my team. You would think of the all-pro corner, not the one that plays for the Chargers. So that's why I get specific when I say him. But the others, I don't need to get specific with. Garrett Wilson! Big yards. Garrett Wilson is killing in his debut. On first down, Lawrence flushed to his brush. He just didn't block. I thought he probably should have just taken the sack before. Well, I did take the sack, but like, I mean, by what I mean by that, I probably should just. Now I just lost X Factor. Now I lost also 20 yards. It's Lawrence. Bro, you didn't catch that? Bro, you're gonna tell me Derek Stingley's puny hit legitimately made you drop the ball. What an embarrassment, Pittman. That's the beauty of free form! The placement! Just made sure to throw it a little bit, a, a little bit past where he was supposed to be, because if I threw it exactly where he was going to end up, it would have been swatted, or maybe even a potential pick. But placing it a little bit further than where he was supposed to be, without doing a bullet pass, I wouldn't, I didn't overthrow him, and I put in a spot where the corner couldn't make a play on it. And what a dime from Trevor Lawrence. A, what a spectacle that throw was. You love to see it. Time running short here. They'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we hit the halftime break here in Jacksonville with the Jags on top. <laughs> if, yeah, we're trying to fist bump a ref yesterday <laughs> after he caught an assist. All right, Brandon, thanks. And welcome. Anthony Edwards, please never change. What a dog. And people are, are some people say that Lamelo Ball should have been the number one overall pick over him in his draft class. Those are the people that don't know Ball. Those are the people that are idiots. And those are also people that suck up to Lamelo Ball and think he's God. You know, what I think he is. I'll tell you, what I think he is. Not only do I think he's just mid, 
I think he's worse than Alonzo Ball. And you know what? Call me stupid for saying that. You know, I get it. Alonzo Ball hasn't played in two years. But you know, Alonzo Ball is just a more complete player, and that's the truth. Alonzo Ball might not have the best jump shot, but you know what? At least he partially fixed it. It's not. It doesn't look 100% awful. You know what? He's better at passing. He's better at defending. And he's just a much smarter player. So for so. If anybody wants to watch this and hear, and hear my statement, you can call me stupid. But at the end of the day, you are really the one that's stupid if you believe that Lamelo Ball is better than Alonzo. You know what? It's also pretty stupid how these guys just don't want to block for the best running back in the league. Thank you very much. I see my opportunity to pass now. I'm getting pressed. This is perfect. Break. Yeah, win the tackle battle, baby. Jerry Judy now is rocking up, which is beautiful. Get off me. Let go. Ah, I almost got that, ah, you bum. Go, baby! Travis Etienne! The GOAT! The savior of Jags franchise! I've been streaming for almost two hours already, which is wonderful. Putting out some phenomenal content just for you guys. And who knows? When I get back home, I said I was going to play much squad. I'm probably going to play much squads with my boy Mason. But tomorrow, bro, I might come back with Jack Franchise. Or actually, you know what? So I did. Did say I was going to do Panthers franchise, and I actually have started the series. Um, I might go Panthers franchise. I have no clue. The reason why I did Jack franchise instead of Panthers franchise is just for the sole fact that um, when I was looking at my playlist, and I was like, when, I was just curious when was the last time I streamed Jack's franchise. And I've seen that the last time I streamed it was a month ago. I decided myself that why not stream it before my Christmas party? With that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is... Ah, lucky duck. Just kidding. That, he, he, was, he was wide open. There was, no luck. there was no luck about that. That was just as open as you could even ask for. Bro, he almost caught that one. There was like two or three people around him. There was at least, that was at least two people there. There might have been a third. Hard cut, baby. Oh. Yeah, Travis Etienne, you, you straight killer, bro. You, you're him. You're, you're poppy, bro. See if they can duplicate that here. I think that they would like to. I know every runner that we've ever met would love to carry the ball more and more and more. In fact, we keep nice block on the outside. You love to see it. And well, there goes Sheldon Rankins for the second time this game. Keep giving it to him and let him do his work. It's not going to slow him down. If it's light for me, it's definitely light for him. Heavy. On second down, ETN once more. Phenomenal block! Travis Etienne! Lion, lion! Who the hell is that? Who's tracking Etienne? Dude, that's a defensive. Daryl Taylor, bro? What? Yeah, Travis Etienne was like a pinball machine right there. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. 
Nice block, bro. Doesn't even matter. He just pushes forward anyway. Ooh, extra blitzes. You think that's stopping me? Go through him, Travis. Go through him. Dance on him. Yeah. Took away his touchdown. Well, y'all just don't like to see fun, don't you? Oh, is that better for you guys? Well, review that. Review that. Please, man. Review it. Oh, you don't? Oh, you, my, my bad. Y'all are scared. Y'all just want him to get one more carry. You know what? Honestly, that honestly looks better on his stat sheet. More carries, the better. Because the more carries he gets, the more people look at it as, hey, he's more useful. And to that, I say, I wouldn't mind giving him more carries. In fact, I don't care if the guy, if I would give him 30 carries a game. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I don't know. Do you look at this? Ooh, I try to, I try to hit the gap. Uh, well, uh, well, I thought it was going to be an outside run. Um, but you didn't. It was an inside zone, which is whatever. Cool, cool beans. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Stroud now on first and ten. Oh my god, I, I knew that was coming too. The second I moved left, I knew that's that's where he was gonna throw. My goal there was to bait him to throw it to the tight end. That is precisely why I moved left. And it, and it practically worked out perfectly. And I say practically because I didn't get the pick, but what I wanted to do, what I wanted him to do, he ended up doing. I don't think I could have even reacted quicker to that. And I even got a dive animation. Honestly, I, I think I executed that perfectly. It's just I got unfortunate not getting the pick. Yeah, that was my zone. It's just Nick Bowen isn't extremely fast. I, I saw it. I saw him throw it to him. I kind of expected him to throw that. It's just he's not the fastest, which if I had someone like, I don't know, like Forte Ocon, like I would have been golden there. But you wouldn't think you were coming down with it? Well, you did come down with it, but like, I mean, like, come on, bro, like that. Nowhere close to a catch. Sack! Jalen Phillips gets the CJ strap. Hey, who threw him on the ground? Hey! Horse horsemanship from Houston. Yup! Read you like a book! Andre Cisco! Oh, he was so close to six! Oh, so close! Four yards, you kidding me? Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And they'll run with ETN. Yep, he's in again. Travis ETN with career touchdown. Elbow spring, yeah, we'll keep him in. Probably should have honestly stopped him, just in case if he stopped out, even though it's a low re injury risk. It's probably something I probably should just kept him out, just because, you know, we're about 46 maybe. <laughs> I kind of want to play another game, but between me having to get something, between me having to do like a couple errands with my mother for my Christmas party, this probably will be my last game for today.
And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing. How long have I been shaving for? Almost two hours. Hour 58 right now. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. What is Damian Pierce doing? Get out of this guy, boy. Bro, it's crazy because before I even try to pick it off, he had terrible feet position. Like there would have been no chance of him coming down with it. But since I try to pick him off pick it off for some odd reason that shifted Nico Collins more in bounds. Here's Stroud. Nah, I try and knock it out. Yard line. Here's second down and three. Stroud looking to throw. To Pierce, they set up the screen. Yeah, you, you thought. Good, good shit, Andre. Texans passing game in rhythm right now. Picking up another first. Line of scrimmage, the 37. Yeah, they'll bring some pressure with the linebackers. Here goes Stroud again. Oh, he took that hit too. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. I think that was 29. I think it was Santi Samuel Jr. No, my band across. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Ah, I thought it was going to be... I thought it was going to be inside, not... I thought it was going to do... Was it bench? Yeah. Yeah, why, why did I think he was going to go outside? Yeah. I, I thought... It, the, the way I saw it and saw them stacked up, I thought it was bench. And since I was on the right side... For some odd reason, I thought he was gonna go left. Stupid me. That's a, that's how I that's how I got the pick last time on CJ Stroud's second interception. They ran bench, and since I was Andre Cisco, who was the free safety, he was on the left. I knew that he was gonna do that route to the left, not to the right. I should have known that was to the right because I was the strong safety. I should have picked that off. Shame on me. Shame on me. Whatever. This game and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make it off from the end zone for a second home. Because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there. And boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought in the end zone. That's the problem. He's gonna sell to himself now. I'm not gonna lie, I have Isaiah likely down the soon. I don't. I thought I would have. Throw right side is gonna be caught by Judy. Jerry Jewey, 78 yards, beautiful, an absolute master class of juking, an absolute master class on display just for y'all to see, oh my god. second half to erase that deficit that they were facing CD but unfortunately the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first yeah that early lead was almost oh nice pass deflection for Tyson Campbell don't test that guy and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow second and ten here's Stroud that's complete to Pierce God damn, Houston just loves their screen passes, bro. One thing I think is safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball. Let's press them, boys. Ooh, they scared the press, question mark? Ooh, Yair Rodriguez versus Brian Ortega. What pay-per-view is this? No, it's not even a pay per view. It's just a UFC fight night in Mexico. Go, Tyson Campbell! 
Should have been a pink. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops. Should have been a pink, bro. Inability to advance the ball from the other. Dixon, the punter is on as he sends it away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. Get a look at Jerry Judy as he leads his offense back out there for this next series. And now he's inching closer to a 200-yard game. He's been so solid. And he's really denting the pride of the guys playing defense, too, because there's certain barriers that you just don't want to give up. Never give a 100-yard rusher, a 100-yard receiver. He's closing in on 200 yards. Yeah, boy, that's, that's our goal. Oh, come on. What kind of terrible block was that? I had so much there. Oh, what a Sally. Bread on red. Not going to question. Travis Etienne! Ah, he got that dog in him! Let's go, Travis Etienne! Fifth rushing touchdown of the game. Am I going to try to play the violin right now? Question mark? Respect. Oh, yeah, I might have played too much. Yeah, whatever. Oh, they want to go for it. Wow. They should have just need it out, honestly, at this rate. Sure. Oh, pick it, Devin. I baited it so, so good that I just threw it so early. And you were just like, nah. Come on, man. Bro, he actually scored that. Well, that's how that's how the last game of the day is gonna go. I'm God dang hail Mary, <laughs> bro. That's crazy. Well, uh, Travis Etienne, another 200 yards on the ground this game with five rushing touchdowns. Catches most was four between Garrett Wilson, Jerry Judy, and Nico Collins. Yards, Jerry Judy. Touchdowns, Jerry Judy, Dolan Schultz. You said there was only one sack. I feel like I had more than one sack. I think. Yeah, um, I had three, three and a half. Um, yeah, what are you talking about, EA, bro? What do you mean there was, because uh, I was under both and it said, yeah, I went under sacks allowed. And it said one, and it said I allowed a sack, which I did. But it didn't say that they allowed any sacks, which I knew definitely was not the truth. Ooh, he actually needs better zone. Um, yeah, Nick Cross, yeah, I'll give you that zone. Oh my, Jesus. Ooh, yes, yeah, strip specialist on Nick Cross, yes, please and thank you. Uh, 
Oh, I got a breakout running back. Yes. Oh. It only took Travis Etienne to rush for over 200 plus yards in all in, in his first three games. Um, yeah, how many rush touchdowns does he have? He has 14 rushing touchdowns through three games. He's averaging practice. He's always averaging five rushing touchdowns a game. Week one, he had five. Week two, he had four. Last week, he just had five. And he's probably averaging probably over 250 yards a game, which would mean he would have to be at 750 right now. How much is he at? He probably has more rushing yards than Trevor Lawrence has passing, right? 814. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. He's averaging like 270 yards per game. Yeah, he's averaging 271.3 rushing yards a game. Holy smokes. Oh, somehow leads my team in in catches, yard, no, yards is Judy, but he also leads in touchdowns. Crazy. Blocking. Oh, does that even show pancakes, bro? Are you kidding me? What a joke. But yeah, um, breakout running back. This is where Travis Etienne will gain his superstar X factor. And with that being said, yeah, get Travis Etienne four plus touchdowns or 200 plus yards rushing slash receiving. So either a total of 200, 200 plus total yards or four total touchdowns. Um, fun fact, the guy is already averaging 271 yards on the ground per game while averaging almost five rushing touchdowns a game. Um, yeah, they're telling me to do either four, four total touchdowns or 200 total yards. Um, yeah, um, he's, he might be not only... Has he achieved those numbers every single game? Um, he's actually averaging more than that. His average is way more than 200 yards, 200 total yards a game. He's averaging 271 rushing yards a game. Never mind, never mind, forget about 200 total yards. Forget about his average total yards. He's averaging 271 rushing yards. And then you have to add on his rushing yards plus receiving yards, which is over 100. Travis Etienne is almost at 1,000 total yards, and we've played three, and I've only played three games. He's averaging north of 300 total yards a game. And then you have to add, on, you have to add 14 rushing touchdowns plus his receiving touchdowns, which he has five, which makes it 19. He's averaging six. He's averaging north of six touchdowns a game and and north of three hundred total yards a game. That's some freaky numbers. They're telling me to get two hundred total yards or four total touchdowns. It's not two hundred total yards and four total touchdowns. It's just I have to do one or the other. He's averaging more. He's averaging north of 300 total yards. They're saying get 200 total yards. He's averaging 100 more total yards than that a game. And then for total touchdowns, it says four. He has 19. He's averaging more than. He's averaging two more touchdowns than that per game in total yards. He's averaging more than 100 of what they're asking for him to do. In other words, this should be a piece of cake. And then with Travis Etienne getting X-Factor, not only would he get a zone ability, not only would he get an X-Factor, being a superstar X-Factor, not only would he get an X-Factor, he'll get a fourth ability for hitting 95 overall. And since he's 97 overall, if I complete the challenge, not only would he get a zone ability, he'll also get a fourth superstar ability. So, yeah. 
This guy is getting wacky. Oh, what would I give him though? Do I give him goal line back? Oh my god, yeah. Bro, I, I should. Goal line back. Running backs with this ability receive improved blocking from their O line within five yards of the end zone. So if I'm within the if I'm within the opponent's five yard line and I run the ball, my O line will I will get better blocking from my O line. Which is crazy because my O line's already giving me phenomenal blocking. But getting improved blocking from him? Oh, he's got 95 feet, 97 acceleration. Yeah, this guy's a demon. Um, yeah, he's like the alpha male of our species, bro. Yeah, he's kind of, he's kind of like God on this game. If I ain't, I ain't even forcing it. He's like God. He's the second coming of Jesus Christ himself. This guy's a demon. Already old, dude. Even if I fail the challenge. Even if I in, if I would intentionally fail the challenge by passing the ball all game, he would still be averaging over 200 rushing yards a game, which is crazy. Like let's say I would even attempt, it. like honestly I'm gonna run the ball all game just to get him X factor. But let's say if I intentionally would just pass the ball all game, not even give him a single carry, so he would fail the X, his X factor, his breakout challenge to become X factor, he would still be averaging over 200 yards rushing. He would be averaging, he would still, he would be averaging three and a half rushing touchdowns a game and over 200 rushing yards a game. And that would be, if I wouldn't even give him a single carry this game. But obviously I am, obviously I'm going to force feed him because I want to get X Factor. Like I said, you know, I said I wasn't going to play the game, I am. I'm just going to play offense only so I can make the game go quicker.
It's week four of the NFL, and we're going to see Travis Etienne. He had a... They go play action with Lawrence. Escaping the pressure right. Now the middle, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. What a throw from Trevor. Oh, what the? Bro, I got stuck on everybody there. Yo, what is this? I'm only doing off until because I gotta leave soon, so I just wanna make sure to do this quick. Does Chris Jones have inside stuff? No, he has goal line stuff though. But you would think it might be terrifying, but I got goal line bad. So I'm really not too concerned about that. Give me the stiff arm, baby! Get out my way, boy! You're weak! Pathetic. First and ten. Now ETN. Yeah, that's just free eight, free eight yards. No, I can't even talk. ETN with it. Give me the first. Oh, come on. Are you gonna tell me inches, bro? Oh yeah, crew ball from the O line within within five yards. Yeah, they weren't kidding. That was some crazy blocks right there. I guess I might as well just pass until Travis Etienne is. Bro, you just told me he's a, okay. I guess he's fine. Sure. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. Lion, lion, all right. Here's ETN. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to step in behind the line. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. <laughs> I think they're gonna flag 23 there. I think. Yeah, it's gonna be. Yep, it's gonna be on 23. Yep. Perfect. Instead, Pi gives him the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken him really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you gotta start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. On the 44 yard line, here's second and five. Now Lawrence. Yep. Seems like 200 yards might be a small asshole for ETN this game, so I'll just chill with the four touchdowns. Take a shot for Jerry Judy. Bro, that's P.I. You're not gonna fucking... You're gonna tell me that... That Jerry Judy was in front of him. And then when I throw it, all of a sudden, nah, he's just... He's just... Bro, that's stupid. Let's go, Gary. 
The goal is to practically, practically get as close to the one as possible and just run it to, to ETN. Play action. It's Lawrence. I wouldn't even mind wasting time outside either. That honestly might just be the easiest way of doing it anyway. Nope, because if I threw it a second earlier, it's probably going to get swatted. So I just didn't want to throw it then. Best case scenario is probably real route on ETN right now. Dude, I have fearless and set feet, set feet lead, bro. And gunslinger. I don't, I don't know how. I just couldn't get that ball off. Oh my god, it's already in the wrong thing, bro. Yeah, why the hell are we in the year? Second half starts with a run by ETN. Have fun. I just need to come to the post office. I need to go to Como. I need to go to Walmart. Come on. Oh, good. We're in the wrong formation. Oh, is there... Alright, so I did save before the game. Um, let me see this. If I fail the challenge, I'll make sure to do it later today. Because the goal was to do the entire game, and I guess I couldn't. And time to leave. Well, what's his stats right now? Though? I'm just curious. His stats right now: three touchdowns. Does he have a receiving? Oh, he doesn't. Wait, it was 400 total. Yeah, not 400 total yards. 200. What do you have receiving? Definitely not enough, I'll tell you. 25. Yeah, it's not enough. Unless he had a receiving touchdown. Did he? Nope. Yo, he would have had four if it wasn't for... Oh, whatever. I'll just get in stream. I'll be... I said I wasn't going to do this later today, but I will just to make sure you get ETN X Factor. I have to leave right now. If you really like the content, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a lot to me. And I'll be back. See you later.